Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen of Grace, to our February challenge. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, a big shout out to all of you who helped make January a success. You guys are absolutely amazing. I know I say it, but I really mean it. I have the best subscribers here. Hey, Grace. Here. Without further ado, I want to give you the February challenge. So, you guys know, let me know in the comments who's joining with me, who's with me. So, first of all, a lot of us really struggle with that five minute rest, with that five minute of movement. So, we're gonna just keep on at that and then we're gonna build up in some other areas and switch. So, for those of you who are new, the five minutes of movement is like weights and walking and exercising and jogging and things like that. Things that just really get your body moving. Um, the five minutes of rest, oh, cause rest is so hard for us mamas. I know, I'm lifting hands and feet, everything. But the five minutes of rest is really for us to rest our minds and so it is for your prayer time it's for your scripture it's for your journaling it's for your devotions it's for your time with the creator the most high yeah god and it's just a time where you can just have a little bit of peace and stillness for january in the nourish category, we did eight glasses of water and one cup of tea per day. I want us to continue this throughout the rest of the year's challenges. So I'm probably not gonna say that. And what I'm adding into this nourish section is daily self-care. And it's not for us to be vain. And I'm gonna do a whole video on what graceful is not. But, you know, it's things like polishing your nails, polishing your toes. That's two days right there. If you do your nails one day, your toes one day, it might be, for those of you that shave, it might be shaving, it might be doing your eyebrows, it might be doing um, shampooing your hair, but it's just five minutes of self-care. It could be that shower, it could be that bubble bath, whatever your self-care looks like but i want you to do something for you for five minutes and i don't want you to pay for it i want your self-care to be something that you do because we're working with our hands and we're working to be good stewards over what we have been blessed with so five minutes of self-care any way that fits you but it needs to be every day for five minutes along with those same five minutes <laughs> for the home. So for January, we decluttered 31 items. I decluttered a whole car full <laughs> and I still have more to declutter, it's crazy. And for this month, February, we are gonna do a five minute daily tidy. You guys know I'm all about not waiting until things get out of control for us to tackle them and for us to address them, but to address them as they come. And if we take a five minute tidy before our spouse gets home, first of all, they're gonna walk into this clean place and be like, ah. <laughs> okay, maybe they won't. If not, you can maybe do a five minute tidy in the morning to just get your day going off to a good start or if you're a night owl, you can do a five minute tidy that night to ensure that your next day will be amazing. But just five minutes to love on your home. I'm not into rules and restrictions. It's not that type of party. The challenges are really just to get you to focus on what is the main thing and how to incorporate the main and most important things in our lives in a way that's not overwhelming and stressful. So that's why we're doing these small increments, bite-sized things, because after 21 days, they say it becomes a habit. And so if in January you practice getting your water and resting and moving, and if you practice decluttering, hopefully those things will become a habit. So now in February, you can rest and move, but you can daily have that self-care, daily tidy your home for five minutes. And now what I wanna get into is our big challenge. The big challenge, you ready? 
Big challenge is no by February. I know, it's like, Christy, why would you do it in this month? I'll tell you why. One, I really wanna give you something that's gonna challenge you. One thing, just one thing a month that's gonna challenge you. Last month, it was that 31 items. This month, it's a no buy. I know not everybody will, not everybody can do it, but for this month, buy only the necessities. No sale, it was on sale. No, it looked good, it smelled good. It was gonna taste, you know, no extras really. Try and see if you can make do with the things that you already have and really appreciate what you've already worked hard for and spent your hard earn money on and I know that a lot of people do gifts this time of the year and so my proposal is that you see how creative you can be because again we want to use these hands that we've been blessed with um, why don't you see if you can create something with the arts and the crafts that you have can you make cards can you bake special cakes and meals and can you decorate you and your children can you cut out hearts how can you create memories for free and make this the best month free that'll create memories that'll last a lifetime because that's what it's all about and I guarantee you that your children will enjoy cutting these crafts and baking these desserts and goodies with you more than they would you going to the Dollar Tree or Walmart or whatever buying this thing that's already pre-made for them saying here you go it's okay it, we all like gifts but how much more when they can be actively involved and hands-on with you because at the end of the day don't we all want to be near and actively involved with someone? Don't we want to be with them knowing that we matter, that together we're doing something and making a difference and doing something special? Yeah, I think that would be the perfect gift that could keep on giving. I think that you could change the trajectory of your family. I think you could impact a generation by doing these things this month alone. And the very final thing I'm announcing is the book for those of you who read with me. So for those of you who read with me, we do one book per month and then we have a live once a month and we just talk about the books. So this time the book is The Power of a Praying Wife and it's by Stormy or Martin. And I just think this will be a really great read. It says today's challenges and pressures can make fulfilling marriage seem like an impossible dream. Yet God delights in doing the impossible if we would only ask. So Stormy or Martin shows how God has strengthened her own marriage since she began to pray for her husband concerning key areas in his life, including his spiritual walk, his emotions, his roles as a father, leader and decision maker, his security and work and finances, his health and physical protection, his faith and his future. Every woman who desires a closer relationship with her husband will appreciate this refreshing book at the power of prayer and marriage, along with real life illustrations. Stormy includes simple prayers and power tools, verses that inspire and encourage to help wives Rest in the insurance of God's wonderful promises of restoration, renewal, and growth in marriage. In April, I'll be celebrating 13 years of marriage, and marriage has not been easy. Um, and so I think for the month of February, I think some of my videos um, might be geared towards tips dealing with wife related things but i just want to tell you that i do appreciate you being here i appreciate you taking this challenge with me um this challenge is free it's open and available to all share with someone who you know it could benefit and if you have been blessed by the january's challenge let others know uh, maybe in the comments so that they'll know um that they can do this right like let's encourage our brothers and our sisters and lastly, if you um, have any questions or if there's something that you're excited about in this month's challenge, leave it below as well. I would love to know and um, comment back with you guys. You guys are just amazing in the comment section. I'm always in tears, so that's why I need more makeup because I'm gonna just cry it off because when you guys start seeing sweet stuff, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> oh my goodness, you're just so sweet. And like, I'm not really just saying like, you know, oh, thank you. I pre no, like I'm literally crying. My husband's like, yeah, 
And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that wraps up this month's video. I'm so excited. Let's go February. Let's go February. Let's go February challenge. We got to come up with some song for the Woman of Grief month monthly. <laughs> we have to come up with a challenge. <laughs> we have to come up with something catchy for the ladies and gentlemen of Greece, the monthly challenge. No, that wasn't it. Okay. I'll just log off now. Blessings. <laughs>